With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So here we have a question. Solve for x. So basically 1.25 raised to the power 1 minus x is greater than 0.64 raised to the power 2 into 1 plus under root x. So basically we have to solve for x. Okay, we have to find the value of x basically. Okay, so here I can write this 1.25 as 125 by 100. Hope you understood this thing. Okay, raised to the power the same which is 1 minus x and it should be greater than 64 I can write over 100. Okay, hope you understood this point and it's raised to the power 2 1 plus root x. Okay, now moving further I'm going to cancel out this thing and this thing. So it will be uh, cancelling with the 25. So it will be 5 over 4, I guess, and 1 minus x. And it is greater than, it will be uh, cancelling with the 4. It will be 16 over 25. Okay. Raised to the power 2 into 1 plus root x. Okay. Now moving further, I'm going to flipping this up. Okay. So it will be 4 over 5. And this uh, power will reverse. So it will be x minus 1. Hope you understood this point. Greater than, I can write this uh, 16 as 4 square and this 25 as 5 square. So I'm writing this, I'm taking the square outside of the bracket. So it will be 4, 1 plus under root x. Hope you understood this point also. Now from here you can see the bases are same. So we can compare the powers easily. So it will be x minus 1, x minus 1 greater than, must be greater than, 4, 1 plus root x. Okay. Now, moving further, I'm going to simplify this a little. So, it will be x minus 1 greater than 4 plus 4 under root x. Now, I'm taking this 4 here. So, it will be x minus 5. Actually, I'm uh, subtracting 4 both sides. So, that I will get this thing. Okay. As greater than 4 into under root x. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So, it will be x minus 5 over 4 is greater than root x. Okay, hope you understood this point also. Okay, now moving further, uh, you can see here it is under root x and under root gives always the positive value. So, uh, to make this side positive, we should make my x minus 5 should be greater than 0. Okay, and my x should be greater than 5. So, this is the first condition I got. I am writing it as my first. So this is what uh, we should have so that this will give me the positive value. Okay, because in front of it, it is a root and root gives always positive quantity. Okay, so that's why. Now moving further, I'm squaring both sides in this, this equation. So I'm writing here squaring both sides. So it will be x minus 5 over 4, the whole square. It is greater than under root x to the square. Okay. I squared both sides. Now, moving further, I'm going to solve this thing. It will be x square plus 25 minus 10x. I just opened a minus b formula over 16. Okay, 4 square is 16. It should be greater than x because x square, this square will cancel out this root. Okay, this will be x only. Now, moving further, I'm going to solve this. So, it will be x square plus 25 minus 10x. And on multiplying the 16 over here, it will be 16x. Okay. I just, I just multiplied both sides 16. Okay. Now, moving further, I am going to subtract my uh, my 16x both sides. So, it will be x square plus 25. And on subtracting both sides, it will be minus of 26x is greater than 0. Okay. I am rewriting this thing in a simple manner. So, it will be look like this. And on factoring this, I will get x minus 25 and here we have x minus 1 is greater than 0. Okay. From here, you can clearly see that my x must be greater than 25 or we can say my x must be greater than 1. Okay. So, from these conditions and the condition I told you before that is x is greater than uh, 5, I am going to uh, put them all on a single number line okay so this is my number nine here assuming i'm uh, it is my one 
and something here it is 25 and something here we have 5 okay now according to our conditions we got my x must be greater than 1 okay it means the area from this here to here okay now my x must be greater than 5 so it is for here to here and my x uh, must be greater than 25 so it is here to till infinity okay now from here you can see that the intersection of all three points will be 25 to infinity okay because all the points are satisfying from 25 to infinity simultaneously so it will be 25 to infinity must be the answer but infinite at infinity it is open bracket because infinity is not included anywhere okay and here at 25 we have also open bracket because we don't have here equal to sign that's why we are applying here a hollow ball and hollow ball here also and here also because we cannot take this value this value and this value because here we have inequality sign not equal sign okay and this hollow ball represent that we are not going to take these points okay so my x belongs to 25 to infinity okay and this is the final value for my x thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today